I think the biggest thing that we can do is how can we make this a better place? How can we make Broken Arrow Public Schools a better place for our kids, but also for them as teachers and staff? Um, I've always felt like that a place that has given a lot of autonomy to do their thing and do the, you know, to teach kids, we need to listen to what they really need and what they really want. And so I think that's really what I'm wanting out of these is really to, to listen more than I talk, to really listen to them and really be able to take a lot of the things that they tell me and uh, really evaluate what can we do to move forward and how can we make the district a better place. One of the things that I've always felt like was needed is making sure that teachers have a voice, that they have a voice of what makes a difference uh, inside their classroom every day. What are the things that really concern them that we can do and maybe improve and do better? Well, you know, I felt like that I knew what was going on in at Sequoia, and we have a really good rapport among the teachers there, but I wanted to, to be a, a bigger voice within the district so that not only Sequoia's voice could be heard, but I could hear other people's voices so that I would um, be able to better inform the people at school as to what's going on in the district. I think it's pretty cool that even in this big district that he's willing to sit down with teachers and kind of get to know us on a more personal level. It's nice to hear what the district is doing and kind of the goals and the desires of and the directions that, that the district wants to go, but they're really trying to listen to our input as they to try, decide how they want to move forward. Well, I really like the first meeting that it was more of like, it's know you, so we could see all the other schools that were represented in the people. I also liked that we went through the three things, you know, what are we proud of, what do we want to stop, and what's our dream. Just because I think that was a good idea to center in the group and figure out our strengths and weaknesses and things that we want. And then this meeting, I really enjoyed that he came prepared with everything listed out so that we could look at it again. Also that we got to see what the high school and elementary thought. Um, you know, I think it makes Dr. Mendenhall more informed. Um, it allows him to hear from just different perspectives and different schools. And that allows him to understand what the teachers need. Um, and so that allows him to look at the big picture and uh, make his decisions moving forward and to be more informed. So I'm hoping that um, he'll take those things and he'll move forward with them. So far we've had lots of great discussions and uh, the input's been uh, What's next? What is the future of our district? Uh, what do they see uh, so that I can help make that dream or that whatever it is that they want a reality? <laughs>